This little book is what my next movies will be about. The Monadology from Leibniz, a German philosopher that is seen as one of the last universal scholars. The Monadology is a so-called ontology, which is a theory on the being of, well, the being of anything. Leibniz sees monads as the basic substances of being, but what the heck are monads? It takes him about 22 small pages and 90 paragraphs to explain this to the attentive reader. It will take me about 10 small videos to explain it to the attentive watcher. You can get the text of the book on several places on the internet, just do a Google on it. Throughout the videos you will see a small number running from right to left at the bottom of the screen. Those numbers show you the paragraph on which I'm talking at the moment. Well, now let's start. Monads are simple substances without parts. They can enter, however, into compounds. There must be simple substances because they are compounds, and the compound is nothing but an aggregate of simple substances. The metaphor used in the picture of bricks is misleading, though, since um, substances or monads don't have parts, they cannot have extension, form or divisibility somehow like the nothing which you don't see on the plate in the picture. Actually, Leibniz conceives monads as spiritual atoms and not material atoms. There is no conceivable way in which a simple substance can neither be created or destroyed in any natural means. Monads can only come into being by creation and to an end by annihilation, which needs someone who can create and annihilate something without extension, while that which is compound comes into being or to an end by rearrangement of its parts, which depending on the parts can be done by any human. Furthermore, different to what you see here happening with sugar and water, it cannot be explained how monads are to be altered by any other created thing. How would you do anything to something without extension? Leibniz coined the word monads do not have windows through which anything might come in or go out. Something that the Linux freak might find funny. Yet the monads must have some quality. If they would not differ, there could not be perceived any changes in things or even things at all.